Hey, it's Mario here, and in this video, I'll to talk to you guys a little bit about how to get more time. So how do you get more things done in your 24 hours? How do you become more and more productive? And uh, as you guys can see a little bit here, it's a different scenery than usual. I'm actually at my parents' place in a little village where I grew up in. Very relaxing atmosphere. You can see my dog here chilling as well in the background. And um, when I come here, I mean, it's usually a couple of times a year, I find it very relaxing. It's kind of a vacation for me and I get to spend some quality time with my family as through between the trips. I don't often get a chance to visit here. Now that I'm in Split Croatia, it's nearby. So it's awesome to have the chance. And um, when I come here, I find that my productivity takes a little bit of a hit, right? So I do track my time. I put in the hours as usual and I work every single day, but I put in the hours, but I feel like I was less uh, focused the last couple of days. So Austin, let's say midnight would hit, that's the time I usually go to bed and I just had more things to do, you know, I just feel like, I mean, I didn't get much done today, where did my time go? And I'm sure that you felt like this at some point, you're like, well, I was spending the time at a computer, you know, I was supposed to get that done and now the to-do list is even bigger at the end of the day, what's happening here, what's wrong with me? And uh, that's what's happened to me as well here and I kind of looked at, well, damn, you know, sometimes it was like 11 30 you know like 12 i still haven't got my third meal of the day and i was like damn you know what, what, what's happening and um really when I, this stuff happens to me i often ask myself why and this was the pure case of the parkinson law right so the parkinson law basically is that the task will take as much to complete as you have you know as much time as you have available and that's without setting a deadline basically the task will can take like five ten times longer to complete than it should and that's basically me violating my own productivity system and i have a little system that i'm going to share with you guys and an example day as well because i got a lot of questions on that well how do you film these videos when do you find the time to exercise i exercise six days a week how do you find time for your meals how do you find time to do this and that as well as coaching you know i'm a full i'm not more than full time basically i'm coaching every single day for hours and hours so uh, how do i do this and as i said the parkinson law is really really tough if you don't uh, understand how it works so my system basically is um, based on a lot of these books that i read so i've read getting things done i read a lot of productivity books and uh, there's a bunch out there i highly recommend you to check it out i try to keep things simple and straightforward so the way i do that is the night before i'm gonna figure out what are the three four things that i'm gonna have to do the next day so the big things the big most important things of that day and i'm gonna order them by priority so the first thing of the day is gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna uh, prioritize, right? So it's gonna be the biggest and the hardest and the most complicated things, which is for me right now, planning videos and, and really researching the topics and going deep into this, right? So into a specific topic, find all the research studies and all of that. So I do that the first thing when after I wake up. So typically around nine, if I go to bed around 12, let's say nine morning, I'm up and let's say I take about 15 minutes, then I am gonna hit that task and I'm gonna have a time block in my Google calendar where I'm gonna just block out two hours of time, let's say from 9.20 to about 11.20, I'm gonna say that's the time for video planning. So I have a deadline, and in that deadline, the, the purpose of the deadline is just to make me focused and less distracted because I have a time ticking, you know, it's like it's like a timer and it's, if you don't focus on this, you know, if you check your Facebook, Instagram, all of that, you're gonna, not going to get your video planning done and that's going to make your whole day, day harder. So it's kind of a healthy uh, limitation that I put in myself there. And then once I get that done in two hours, I'm, I can uh, move on to the second task. And even if I don't get it done completely in two hours, I'm going to move on to the second task, which is going to be coaching. So I want to put some pressure on myself like a healthy amount of pressure to get it done on time otherwise i mean it can take six seven hours which is what happened the last couple of days you know the video planning just completely went off track and i was just not getting anything done right so once i get that done let's say about 11 11 20 11 30 then i'm going to move on to the second thing which is coaching so i'm going to spend my two hours in that and uh, after the coaching is done I'm gonna work on food because that's gonna be the end of my fasting window as well in the morning. And then I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna work just a little bit to finish some stuff if I have to. And then I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna plan the gym of course before and do all these things. And then after gym, I'm gonna get food and I'm gonna have the second block of work as well, which is gonna be written all in Google Calendar. So I wanna make sure that I have these things written down. That's a big thing. That's the big idea I want you to get from this video is that don't let that Parkinson law hit in, right? So if that happens, your task will just take like six, seven hours. And that's, that's exactly what's happened to me the last couple of days. You know, midnight, nothing was done. You know, the to-do list is huge. 
And often the, the small things that come up, if I'm really on, on my system, if I really stick with the system, I write down all the small stuff in, in a, like a separate to-do list because I want to make sure that they're not in my head, right? I hate thinking about things like call or reply to someone else or reply to a Skype message or this Facebook message. Like all that stuff is just sapping your energy, sapping your and creating fatigue and stress because you're keeping, in, uh, keeping like a tab in your head what what's, has to be done. And that's the worst thing you can do for your productivity. So I like to keep those things in a list. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to start going through that list and I'm going to make sure to at least have an hour before bed where I don't have to do anything super, super complicated. Because at that point, I'm already uh, completely depleted in terms of my willpower, in terms of my prefrontal cortex is completely fried. So I want to make sure that I do the most creative stuff, the stuff that requires the most creative energy in the morning, which, which is kind of my personally most productive time for doing things like that. It doesn't have to be the same for you. You can uh, pick the time when you're most productive, but the point is to know yourself and to organize yourself and set these time blocks. That's a huge, huge difference for me. Even if I don't stick to it, I'm still more productive and more focused, which is something I found out that even if I don't stick to the system 100%, even if I stick to the system only 20%, I'm still getting a lot more done in a day and I'm still much more focused than if I don't do in any kind of system, if I don't organize my time at all. So that would be my simple productivity method here and how to get more time, uh, basically avoiding multitasking and getting that single task in until you complete it. Then ultimately you're going to get more time instead of letting it escalate and just turns into a chain reaction and a vicious cycle where you're pushing your sleep an hour, get less sleep next day, less productive that day again trying to catch up and it turns into a whole week of a mess until you can actually reset one day and start from scratch and instead of doing that why not just start with a system and stick to the system as much as you can and it will get you more time will make you more productive you're going to be able to get more things done so uh, i want to hear from you guys in the comments what do you think about my system as well i mean i don't hold any copyright to this i mean whatever you know it's just a simple thing probably it's a bunch of ideas that i took over like over articles that are productivity and also books like getting things done which i'm going to link in the description below if you guys are interested in reading i highly highly recommend you to do that so let me know in the comments below what's your favorite productivity method what do you do right now to organize your time do you use a calendar do you like to write things down what's your method so share with me share with the community aside from that make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace